Hello my friends, thanks for stopping by. I hope you're all having a great day. I can't believe the month of April is already gone. It seems like the older we get, the quicker time goes. So I would suggest that we keep our eyes wide open and enjoy each and every day because they just seem to breeze by, to me anyway, I don't know. Well, it's that time trip through my trash. So let's get to it. Um, I'm going to start first with, I'm just going to randomly do these things. Sometimes I try to do all the body products together, sometimes the hair, but it's so much easier if I just grab something and say, all right, I finished the Tree Hut Moisturizing Shave Oil. I will say that the first few times that I used this, I really didn't care for it, but then I kept trying it again. And I think the trick to these oil type found, uh, shaving creams, not foams or oils, um, is that you cannot use the razors that have those strips on them. Those strips, strips for me get gummy and I don't really care for them. I usually use a man's razor. I like five blades, four blades and up. I really prefer three blades. Okay. But I really like more blades. And, um, I know razor blades are so expensive, but I do think that the better the razor, the better the shave. And, like I said, when I first used this, I didn't really care for it. I think because I was using it with a razor that had a strip on it. But then um, I just, you know, sometimes I'll get those razors, but then I just take that strip right off. I, I ended up liking this a little bit towards the end. So if you're somebody that does like a shave oil and you've wanted to try this, my, my initial thought on it was, mm, but then it grew on me. So uh, not a bad option for a shave oil. All right, the next item I have here is by Kiehl's Creme Decor Nurturing Body Washing Cream. This was okay. I wouldn't buy it again because I didn't feel that it really moisturized as much as some of my other products that I use. Some of the... Uh, Scrubs that I use that are like $9, they do a better job at moisturizing. They leave behind that beautiful films if they're based in coconut oil, especially. This one here, it was with jojoba and shea butters. Now jojoba is one of those oils that I really love for my body because it is closest to our own oil, the oil that our skin has. But this one here, it, it didn't really do it for me. So I would pass on that. Of course, you all know that I go through this like crazy. You, Lou and I both use this. This is the uh, Color Proof Super Rich Moisture Shampoo. And I will say for all the hairdressers out there, Cosmoprof now carries this. So it will be more accessible to uh, hairdressers because in um, my area, Cosmoprof did not have it. Only a locally owned store carried it. But now they are branching out and they do have it. This is a wonderful, wonderful line. It is very expensive, but let me tell you something about this product. It is so concentrated that one pump is enough for all of my hair. You do not have to overuse this product. If you feel when you're using it, oh my God, I have so much suds, this and that, you've used way too much of the product. So this product really, this bottle should last you a very long time. I buy the back bar sizes now, so I buy it in the gallon sizes, but I absolutely I've been using it for years. I love it. Okay. Um, I did a sample Sunday on this hair mask, the Kui or K or Kai, Q-U-A-I. I'm not sure that the box will show in this uh, light setting. But anyway, this is their treatment mask. It really is nice. I will say up front that it is highly fragranced and it's not a mask that I would buy the large size if there is a large size in it. I would only use this once in a while because I have so many hair masks that I think are um, actually better than this with less fragrance. The fragrance is this, in this is ex it's very floral to me. Okay. So that's just my thoughts on that. All right. I finished up the Bioderma and this is the Hydra Bio toner. Um, I'm trying to finish up all my toners also. I like this. It's very gentle. The Bioderma products are just excellent products to me. So I have other toners I'm using right now, and there are some that I prefer over this. But if I saw this again, like if I was so lucky to be in a French pharmacy, I would buy it. Yes, I would. All right. So now this is my second tube of this, and I do like this. <clears throat> I don't think I'll get it again 
because I go through it so quick and it's expensive. And uh, there are so many that Ulta sells that are so good and the grocery store sells. The Alba line is excellent in a, as a body scrub. This is the Kopari and this is their coconut oil, coconut crush scrub. It works beautifully. It leaves behind a beautiful moisture barrier for my very dry skin, but I go through it so quickly. But if you want to treat yourself, this is a really nice product. Okay. Let's see. What else do I have? Okay. So we'll stick with toner since they're all sitting here on top. And I actually did go through all of these. Um, the by Terry I've talked about before. This is the cellular Hydra toner. Uh, this is the clarified and comfort toner. This was very nice. If you are bothered by the scent of rose or you just don't like it, you will not like the by Terry product. She is, her products are rose scented, but I find that lovely. Uh, a long time ago, a while ago, Joelle bought me the Biotherma Life Plankton Essence. This is a nice product, but too hard for us to find in the U.S., so I will not be uh, purchasing this again. It was nice, but I have to say I don't like it as much as my raw sauce, as far as an essence goes. Okay, this is another product that Joelle sent me. This is the Teoxane, I'm not sure how you say it. Teoxane, Teoxane, I think it's Teoxane. It's the RH Prime solution. This is a prep cleansing solution for face and eyes. I did use the whole thing, but I will say, um, every time I use this, I got a little bit of a breakout, okay? So I wouldn't buy this again, all right? Um, my mouthwash, Tom's uh, Wicked Fresh. It's the only one I can use because there's no alcohol in it. It doesn't rip the insides of my mouth apart, but I still feel like I'm getting that fresh, clean breath, which is important, right? All right, I finished up the Kane and Austin 10% retexturing pads. These are 10% glycolic. I love these. I will get them again in the future. I think I'll bump up to the next percentage, but right now I'm not going to get them again because I have one, two, I have like three jars of others that I'm trying so that I can share with you. But I did like these a lot, okay? Like I said, I would probably bump up to the next level, but the 10% is good to start. All right, so we love that. Now this one here is the Andalou Cleansing Foam. Uh, I was buying a lot of cruelty-free products to be able to share with you my opinions. This is the Rose Stem Cell. Again, smells like rose, is very mild. Uh, it is for sensitive skin, but I will tell you, I will not get this one again because it did, even though it was just a cleansing foam and it's extra gentle for delicate and dry skin, it still left my skin feeling parched after I used it. So uh, good if you have a normal skin or just a, a normal to dry skin, but if you're like me, excessively dry, and please in the comments, if you're using it and you're excessively dry and you don't get that feeling, please share in the comments because we're all different, but this did not, this is not something that I would purchase again simply because I did feel a little parched after using it. I stay clear of products like that. Okay. Um, body scrub I was just talking about. This is the Elba Botanica Hawaiian Body po Polish. I go through tons of this. I absolutely love it. This is the sugar cane. I cannot use salt scrubs on my body. They dry me out. Sugar is actually better for dry skin than salt. So uh, if you are somebody who is excess excessively dry, you may want to try a sugar scrub if you've been using salt and been left disappointed or feeling dry. Love those. Probably have two or three in my cabinet now, and I will continue to buy them. All right, so I did try the Sephora Almond Foot Mask. Mm, it's, it's, it's not like a baby foot. All it is is you put these booties on and you wear them. It's supposed to moisturize your feet. Now, that being said, if you have normal feet, this probably would work for you really well. I do not have normal feet. I have excessively, excessively, excessively dry feet. My feet peel, crack, split, breed, bleed. Um, there are a couple of weeks out of the year that my feet seem normal. I'm just getting ready to do, I'm going to do, my feet are normal right now. Well, they're not normal, but there's no cracks. So I'm getting ready to try the Basha uh, foot 
product equivalent to the baby foot to see how that works. And then I'll be sharing that in the video down the road. But this, if you have normal feet or you just want to do it for maintenance along, you know, maybe once or twice a week, I mean, that would get expensive. These are like $8, but, um, you know, it's okay for a one-time thing if you have normal combination, but for me, it wasn't enough moisture. I, I should have known that it wasn't going to be enough moisture. I finished a Beauty Junkie sponge. I do love these sponges. Debic One is the one who actually introduced me to this. She no longer does videos on YouTube, but she does. She is on Instagram. And she has great knowledge in skincare and beauty products. Um, but anyway, uh, this sponge here was my favorite of the Beauty Junkie sponge. But I will tell you, after you use them for a couple of months, they start to break away and you will see little dots of black sponge on your face. So know when to let these go. You got to know when to fold, okay? <laughs> All right, so uh, I have continued to use the Dr. Dennis Gross. This is the uh, Alpha Beta Ultra Gentle Daily Peel. I did buy a new box of the Extra Strength because I really liked these, but they were nowhere near enough for my skin. But they are great if you're somebody who's just starting out, you're not sure how your skin's going to react or you have ultra sensitive skin and you would like to be able to try these types of products. You may even want to ask um, at Sephora if they have a sample pack of it to see how your skin responds. But here I am now in the States, this is what I truly believe. If you spend good money on something, I know that's different over in other countries, but if you spend good money on a product and you have a reaction, do not hesitate to take that product back, okay? Most companies stand behind their product. And Sephora, if you have a reaction, there should be no questions asked. You just tell them, I had a reaction to it. And they will take it back. I also started using these, and I wanted to just uh, mention them before I'm actually finished with it. These are by Skin Pharmacy. This is the one you can find in CVS. This is their Advanced Anti-Aging Therapy Restoring Retinal Treatment Wipes. Now, uh, in the summer, I'm able to use Retin-A in pure form. So I've started to use my Retin-A but I acclimate my skin and I continue to use on the nights that I don't use, and I'm only once a week right now, but on the nights that I don't use it, I use retinal products. So I started using these. I'm also using the Dr. Dennis Gross retinal um, serum, but I will alternate. And so one night I'll use these, then I'll use the Dr. Dennis Gross, and then I'll use these again. And then, so every night I'm using a retinal to acclimate my skin or to keep giving it some derivative of retina a these are not bad they're there you get a lot of solution on each pad uh, i didn't get any of that peeling with it but they are not bad to if you wanted to acclimate your skin to them and they come in a box and I, i'm not sure how many are in a box but um they were not bad i did not wake up broken out or you know peeling like a you know, a, a lizard or anything like that. And I ha have used quite a few of them. So I used three of those up. All right, <clears throat> I finished my Anastasia Caramel Brow Riz. This has been my newest friend. It has really, I mean, I've taught myself how to fill my eyebrows in to really look natural. And it's all because of this pencil and the brow gel. But I finished one up and I just bought three because I'm afraid that, you know, caramel might be discontinued one day. You know how I am. I've talked about the Wild Foods chocolate powder. I absolutely love this product. Um, I buy it all the time. I use their turmeric. I also finished up a bottle of their Wild MCT. Um, this is a pure energy from nature. And it is... Um, 63 servings in this bottle. For those of you who do not like the flavor of coconut, but yet you want the benefits of coconut, an MCT is the way to go. Now this one I love because again, it's wild. It has no chemicals to it. It is a pharmaceutical grade uh, MCT oil. You can add this to your smoothies. You can add this uh, to your stir fries. You can add this to anything, your coffee, if you like to do that bullet coffee thing that's going on. 
This is a fabulous MCT oil and I use it for everything. I'll put it in the smoothies if I don't want the smoothie to taste like a coconut because I'm doing a peanut butter almond or something. Um, I don't want to take away so this is a great way to incorporate the benefits of medium chain fatty acids to your body without having all that coconut flavor going on. I also finished up two nutrients, the quality of life healthy aging oligonol. This uh, is for, um, it reduces visceral fat in the body and it supports cardiovascular health and it also decreases skin wrinkles and brown spots. So you know I'm waiting for it to take the wrinkles under my eyes away. <laughs> I'll let you know if it happens. Well I don't have to let you know, you'll all see it. Okay so um, phytoceramides and these are by Sports Research. I've gone through bottles and bottles and bottles of these. I do think that they help the dryness in my skin even though I'm excessively dry still. And these are the Phytoceramide Skin Hydration with Lipo Wheat. And that, are, that is the end of my product. But I do have one thing to share with you and I cannot wait to share it in another book review video because this book just must be read. The whole trilogy must be read. And that is by Greg Isles. He is one of my most favorite male authors. And this is the final of the trilogy. And this is Mississippi Blood. The very first one is called The Bone Tree. Get it. The second one is called Nanchez, Nanchez, Nanchez Burning. Get it. And then the final is Mississippi Blood. It is a very big book. They're all a very big book, lots of pages to it. So I suggest getting The Bone Tree. If it's in paperback, grab it. If Nanchez Birding is in um, paperback, grab it. And then by the time you're done reading those two, unless you're like me and you read really quickly, um, this might be out in paperback. But if not, and you have read the first two and you're, you didn't know this was out, because I just accidentally uh, stumbled upon this in Target. I didn't even know it was out yet. And I absolutely loved the book. I didn't want it to end. I mean, Punch Bowl, The Devil's Punch Bowl, he writes so many good, good books. And his a main character in most of his books is Penn Cage. And I just love, love, love his books. So that is it for my empties. What did you empty up this month? You know I love what you share with me. And uh, so many people read the comments and even you're sharing with me but there's tons of people reading the comments and learning and i love that about my comment section so many wonderful interactions going on between all of you it just makes me so happy so thanks for stopping by don't forget subscribe we're anti-aging here be happy healthy beautiful and most of all my friends lovable i love you all bisous